Golf carts may soon be a thing of the past in one beach town. Council members in Carolina Beach passed an ordinance tonight to help phase out the popular way to get around. While council members say the decision is a matter of public safety, not everyone is excited about the decision. WECT's Cassie Simmons heard from some neighbors tonight who are not in favor, but Cassie, you also found someone who's excited about it. That's right, Fran. That's partly because Edward Alexander works at a low speed vehicle dealership, so he thinks that people will be going to him to replace their golf carts in the coming years. But even he admitted safety is the biggest concern in this matter. <laughs> With the Icon dealership sitting on the busiest road through Carolina Beach, employees see plenty of safety hazards involving golf carts. A lot of times when you see traffic back up with a slower cart, it's a golf cart. The slow moving vehicles are a popular way to get around the island. Parking is easier, um, less noise. I mean, you, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of different facets to it. Um, Kids love it. Everyone should have a golf cart. But in just over four years, they'll be a thing of the past. All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? Nay. Carolina Beach Town Council voted Tuesday night to phase out golf carts. This is a tough one. These are the ones that are really tough on council because you're trying to be reasonable and take care of your residents' concerns when you have a public safety issues, and those are always difficult. Starting July 1st, the town will not issue any new golf cart permits. Current owners will be able to renew their permits, but at the end of 2027, all golf carts will go away. Carts that are registered with the state, called low-speed vehicles, will be the only ones allowed. The golf cart is a 2003-2004 vintage, so it's at its end of its life cycle. To now all of a sudden be told, hey, you can't get it, you know, get a new permit even though you've had one, I think it would be far better to have uh, to allow, especially for existing owners who have a history of registration to maybe consider that. And as frustrating as it is for many on the island, Alexander says it's a much needed move to help keep his neighbors safe. His dealership sells and rents out low speed vehicles, which cost a bit more than a golf cart. Golf carts are designed to go 12 on a golf course. Um, if you look under the front of one of ours, it's much more safe to be out in traffic. Now again, people have until the end of June to apply for those new golf permits, but after that, no more will be issued by the town of Carolina Beach and owners won't be able to renew their golf cart permits after 2027. Fran. All right, Cassie, thanks so much. Customers are closer to being able to taste their drink before buying it at Carolina Beach. Carolina Beach Town Council set a public hearing date for a proposal to allow customers to drink alcohol and wine in beer shops. The hearing will be April 11th. If it's approved, this would change the way wine and beer shops in Carolina Beach operate in the neighborhood business district of town. Right now, it doesn't allow for bars and breweries.